I'm in a confusing place right now because I feel like you both challenge me and at the same time are a yes man to me. Like the situation today on our group date, I did respect answers like that from Ruan. He literally still embodied to me the first impression rose. He was himself in his answers. And whether he won the challenge or not, he was upfront and honest and wasn't trying to yes man me versus giving me insight into who you are and where you want to be and trying to really see our compatibility. This version of him that's a yes man and just wants to compromise everything for me and not be honest with his feelings. And I'm worried because I don't want a relationship where I'm constantly begging someone to reveal themselves to me. I was being a yes man and I did give the answers that I thought he wanted to hear. So yes, in that moment I was playing to one. Definitely no two ways about it. But I do genuinely want to keep challenging you and I do want to get to know you like no other man will ever get to know you. And that's the truth. I promise to hold myself accountable and just let my actions do more talking. From the moment my name was on that call, I knew it was going to be tough. The reason why I struggled to go and get into that, that point between the primary school and now is because those were the, some of the toughest years of my life. My matric year before that, going through all those struggles with my dad. It's not something I want to relive, but it's something I do want to know about you. And that's why I've been afraid to go there. It's not because I don't want to know things about you. It's because I'm afraid of myself. I'm afraid if I, if I let you in, it's going to scare you away. That's not where I want this to go. I see us at the end of this having a beautiful and happy life. I feel like there really is so much more to Peter and so much beauty, more beauty than I even knew when we were kids. But there's definitely a difference between wanting something and being ready to receive it. And he hasn't had a beautiful relationship to be able to really know what a beautiful relationship is like. Peter. Foyani. Listening to my heart in terms of who between the two of you I need to send home and who I need to keep. And this is also looking very shaken, like that just got a very weighty decision to make. It feels like time's really slowed down quite a bit in this moment. I really respect that you've started this journey towards finding your authentic person. And you've opened yourself up to not repeating your mistakes of the past. However, I don't think I'm that person for you. It just doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem right, but you know, if Life's not right, life's not fair. Thank you for allowing me to be myself and open up to you. And regardless of today's outcome, I still want you to be part of my life as a friend because I still think you're an amazing human being. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you do too. It sucks a little that I have to be thrown under the bus to be sent home. It's her choice. She wants to be with a person like that. She can be. Fuyani. <sighs> Will you accept this rose, Fuyani? A million times, yes. Uh, looking back in retrospect to what I said about Peter using certain methods to bond with me. So uh, I don't feel conscious because that's the information that Denise asked for. I gave her what she wanted.